Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Aaron from Pen Venture. Welcome to a very, very special fountain pen review. Today's topic will be the one and only Pilot Custom Urushi series. Why Pilot Custom Urushi? Why now? Well, this is due to the fact that most of our inventory fountain pens are already traveling towards London because we will attend the London Pen Show, which is happening on March the 3rd. And if you want to meet with me, I will be there and I will have with me also the Pilot Custom Urushi. But I kept two of these fountain pens to be traveling with me because I wanted to have a video review done for the Pen Venture YouTube channel. Like you are accustomed by now, we're going to have a very, very interesting time exploring the, the beauty of this writing instrument. I'm going to show you the details, I'm going to show you a side by side size comparison, a writing sample, and in the end we're going to conclude everything in some personal opinions. And this has been a very, very long awaited video review because this is one of the flagship models of the entire Pilot series. Not the Mickey, Pilot. So if you want to see the spear tip of Pilot, this is it. Both in writing performances, looks, design, function, beauty, uh, it is something at the top. Today I'm going to showcase both finishes of this version in the entire nib size range that it is available fine, medium, medium and broad and uh, both of the finishes. So it's going to be super, super fun. First, let's start with the customer experience. Well, when you order a Pilot Customer Rushi, you get it in a box like this. This is a little bit more undercover. It is not screaming, not popping towards you. It is not usually like with other Urushi creations made out of wood. It is something made out of cardboard and inside, surprise, another box. So this box is made in a fox leather, if I'm not mistaken, something also underrated. It's a clamshell box, so if we open it like this, inside we'll have the fountain pen resting in a bed. It's like silk. We're gonna be just taking the, the, the pen pillow, I call it like this, and under it you'll get some information regarding the Urushi coating, how to care for it. Also, you're gonna get a ink cartridge. This is a proprietary ink cartridge and also the warranty that comes with this. And we are going to focus on the fountain pen. This is no joke, a superb writing instrument. Very large, very oversized, very beautiful. It captures the entire Japanese spirit when it comes to writing instruments. Practical, it is light, it is luxurious, it is beautiful, it is minimalistic in its design and its approach to every single aspect and above else, one of the most high-end writing instruments from the Pilot series. Just like I told you, it is available in two finishes. We have the black and we have the vermilion red. Both of the finishes are available in our inventory and both of them are available in the entire nib size range. So you pretty much have plenty of options to choose from regardless of the color and the nib size. And now the big dilemma, which one to choose and have as a base for my review, the black one or the red one. You're not going to be robbed by the experience of seeing the red one because I will pop in between with the red one and I'm gonna demonstrate what is specifically very attractive to the red one and the black. Basing my review on the black custom Urushi. Simple, flat, finial. We have this ring which adds a little bit more depth to it. It's just not like a black simple one. And we follow up with this ring right here which marks the ending of the finial. The clip which is used on the Pilot Custom Urushi, it's one which is timeless. It's been used by Pilot for many, many decades. It starts girthy and then it starts to thin in and finishes with this ball, which makes it a little bit more practical than usual. Then we have pilot stamped right here. Then the cap starts to pick up in girth from this point right here around this point. It is a very, very slick and very, very shiny deep black. This is Urushi. As you know by now, it's the sap of the lacquer tree which is collected and it is applied on a fountain pen in different techniques mixed with all sorts of pigments, with all sorts of elements in order to make up a very, very shiny and 
very, very deep color slash effect on different objects, in our case, the fountain pen. Well, the technique used on the Pilot Custom Urushi on the red and the black one, it's called Royro. It is a single solid color. So Tame Nuri, for example, Tame Nuri is two colors. We have a much more vivid color, which is hinted underneath a more clearer uh, color on top. Royro, it's just a single solid color of Urushi. And we have black and we have red. Multiple layers of lacquer with curing time in between, with polishing, with a lot of care and dedication, which is done only by hand. So this is why I believe this is not your usual black fountain pen. The, the obtained surface is one which is just like watching into a luxurious piano. This black has a lot of depth. It is shiny, it is even, it doesn't have any single flaws. And for this, you have to have a lot of ears under your belt in regards of applying Urushi on different surfaces. I forgot to point out the entire fountain pen is made out of ebonite, not the trim elements and all other elements which are made out of metal, but overall, where we have Urushi, it is applied on ebonite. Right here on the barrel, we can clearly see the classical pilot ring configuration, which is made of a larger ring right here, and upwards to it, we have a smaller ring. When I say classical, have a look at the smaller custom 912 of mine, which has basically the same ring configuration. Larger ring, smaller ring. On the custom Urushi ring, we can find right here on this ring, custom Urushi three stars pilot made in Japan. On the red pilot custom Urushi, we have a little bit of difference because the finial it's black, then the cap rings right here are made with black and this offset of colors used black and red, it's amazing because it makes uh, the red one to look a little bit more fancy than the simple black one. But I like this because if you want to have something which shows more or tells more regarding the writing instrument that you hold in your hands, you can pick the red one. If you want to have something a little bit more elegant, a little bit more underrated, you can go with the black one because the black one has all of the parts made in black. Now, when we just simply uncap the fountain pen, we're gonna be greeted by one of the most elegant nibs of Pilot. And this beauty is none other than the Pilot 18 karat gold nib number 30. Pilot has a unique way of numbering the size, the actual dimensions and proportions of their nibs. But I can show you a side by side with a 5, uh, with a 10, with a 15, and this is number 30. And here I have the following. So we have a size 5 nib, then we have a size 10 nib of Pilot, then we have a size 15, and then we have a size 30. This is a large nib. The size 30 nib is comparable to a King of Pan nib with a Mont Blanc 149 nib or even with uh, something like a Leonardo size 8 gold nib. Just for reference, I have here a Dodici which is using a Leonardo size 8 gold nib. We have a dual tone nib, so in the middle it's silver color. On the edges we have gold, nicely scroll in 18 karat, 750, number 30, FM, the nib size. On the Pilot Custom Arushi you may find available FM, fine medium, then upwards we have medium, and then we have broad. This nib is powered by something which I can only say is the classical plastic feeder of Pilot. Take a look here next to the 845. I think it offers a very rich and consistent ink flow. Now let's check the ergonomics of the Pilot Custom Urushi. And we have this sleek, very beautiful black section, which is having a very, very interesting shape. This is slightly hourglass, but it is more prone to flare uh, quickly right here near the edge of the section. This is something comfortable even in extended periods of riding. I believe it's one of those sections that can fit all hands. Bear in mind, the Pilot Custom Urushi is a large, large fountain pen. So you don't want to have a very thin and pencil-like grip when you hold such a fountain pen. And to be honest, this is one of the sections which is a little bit more chunky, but I believe it adds value with it being a little bit more chunky than something super, super thin. Then we have this ring right here, which marks the finishing 
of the section, then we have a minor step up and the threads of the capping system. Those are not sharp at all. You can clearly hold the fountain pen even by those threads without feeling any fatigue or without having them biting in your grip. Then we have the barrel of the fountain pen following from this point right here, very slick. It is covered in Urushi. This is a flawless Urushi and I believe this is as good as it gets when it comes to Urushi. The barrel has no drastically uh, changing of its shape, so it's slightly tapering in right here at the end. Then it's gonna meet up with this ring which marks the finishing of the barrel. And then we have a flat finial and finial, and this is something which mirrors the, the cap one. And just to show you, on the red one, the barrel it's similar, but right here we have a nice mix in between black parts and the red barrel and i believe this is where i see a little bit of the mont blanc ernest hemingway series that uh, reddish orange fountain pen mixed with black parts let's check the filling system of the fountain pen right here you may find a o-ring this is not to eyedropper convert the fountain pen. This is just to make sure that the barrel is going to remain tight and it's not going to come off quite easily when it comes to removing it. Do not eyedropper convert this fountain pen. Right here, we have a metal part in it. We have the Pilot Con 70 push converter or pump converter, call it whatever you like. This is a proprietary pilot cartridge converter system, which I believe it's not super, super popular. I've heard mixed opinions regarding it, but I'm not a huge fan personally of the system because I change inks quite, quite often. And this is something which doesn't like that. But we're gonna dive into this aspects in a few moments in my personal opinions. Moving further, you can use this fountain pen with bottled inks and you can also use it with proprietary pilot cartridge. And if I'm not mistaken, I've seen some Iro Shizuku Pilot inks cartridges. I believe this is a stunning way to test those inks and to have them in your Pilot Custom Urushi. Now, this is how easy you can remove it. It has an agitator, so if you use it with some inks and you let it sit for a while, you can just go like this and it will agitate and put that ink in motion. It will mix it up and it's going to be ready to go. In regards of the, the details, the aspects of the Pilot Custom Rushi Black and the Vermilion one, I've told you this is what I know, this is what I have in front of me, and this is what I'm sharing with you all. It is time for a side-by-side -side size comparison to different fountain pens to check its dimensions, proportions, and then we're gonna have a very, very interesting writing sample with this gorgeous nib. Since we are dealing with Urushi, I'm gonna use the stand right here to have the fountain pen sitting and not moving. It's black and it's going to be a little bit more hard to get the contrast, but I'm gonna base my size comparison starting from this end. So this is the end of the fountain pen and this is the other end of the fountain pen. Here is a look next to a Sailor King of Pen. We have the Heritage 92. Then let's have a look next to a Namiki Emperor. Here we have a Visconti Opera. Master. Here we have a Nakaya Dorsal Fin V2. This is the look uncapped. Here we have the Pala Custom Urushi. Here we have the Heritage 92, the Emperor, Nakaya Dorsal Fin V2, King of Pan, Pro Gear, and the Opera Master Crystal. Capped like this, the Pala Custom Urushi measures 155 millimeters. Uncapped like this is going to measure 141 millimeters. Its diameter is going to vary in between the thinnest point, 16 millimeters, right here, and the thickest point right here at the cap is going to be 20 millimeters. The total weight of the fountain pen capped or posted is going to be 45 grams, and uncapped in writing position like so, it's going to be 26 grams. Now, let's talk about the pricing point because this is the flagship model of the Pilot series. It's going to demand a specific pricing and that pricing, it's not cheap. 
1,145 euros, no taxes. This is the pricing for the Pilot Custom Urushi, regardless black or vermilion, regardless of the nib size, fine medium, medium, broad, is gonna have the same pricing. And this fountain pen is available in stock right now at Penventure. You can scroll down, you'll find the links there, and you can go about and have it from Penventure. Let's check this impressive nib because the very best in regards of this fountain pen is gonna be following right now. We are going to have a sample of one of the most spoken nibs about because if I ask every single collector that I know in my list what are his thoughts regarding the Pilot Custom Marushi, most likely we're going to end up talking about the nib and you will see in just a few moments why. So let's start with the pen. This is Pilot Custom Urushi and this is the black one. Uh, the ink Sailor. Wow, this nib is stellar. Manio Chingaya nib. This is the number 30, uh, 18 karat gold FM nib. Paper. We are on Tomo River paper 52 GSM one of my favorite papers. Anyway, this is one of the most incredible nibs that I've tested. Now, let's check the wetness. I would put this nib to be moderate wet nib. This is not fire hose. Let's have a double pass. As you can clearly see, we are dealing with a nib which actually has more flow to it on a scale from uh, one to 10 with tan being uh, super, super wet, too much wet. This is gonna be a conservative 7.5, close to an eight. Now, normal, figure of eights. And uh, <laughs> it's very hard to contain myself and not to press on this thing because this is quite soft. But in normal writing, this is a super, super nice FM nib. FM sits in between fine and medium and yeah, this is the reality. This is a nib which is much more closer to an M than an F, so I give it that it is true to the size. Flux, be very, very careful. Just like I told you a few moments ago, this is a soft nib, so if you press on it, it's going to open up and flex. This is not something that you would want to compare it to an FA nib, so if you have in mind having this fountain pen writing calligraphically, uh, flourishing, pressing on the nib, having those two tines spread out as much as possible. Maybe this is something that you don't need to consider having. The famous sentence, and let's see how this nib is working when we are going to give it a flamboyant uh, writing. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Well, this is one of the smoothest Japanese nibs that I've ever tried. Japanese nibs come with a specific hint of feedback, pencil-like feedback. This is not like that. This is super smooth, comparable to a Palladium Dream Touch nib from Visconti. It is gentle, it is beautiful, it is pleasant to ride with it, it is plenty of wetness, it is gorgeous, gorgeous. And the, the, the whole fountain pen just simply glides effortlessly on the paper. We have no problems whatsoever, no hard starts, no skippings, nothing whatsoever. If you press on the snip, plenty of ink flow to just have that feeder keeping up with the nib, it's hard to stop writing with this nib because it's that, that gorgeous. Now it is time for my personal opinions. I get in contact with so many fountain pen people and I hear so many opinions. And sometimes these opinions are just simply 
uh, opposite one to the other. On this fountain pen, I would like to say that 98% of the opinions that I've personally heard are just simply stellar performances, beautiful fountain pen, amazing writing instrument. This is exactly what I was expecting when I said I'm gonna do a review for this specific writing instrument and this is exactly what this fountain pen delivered. Sometimes you may choose a writing instrument and it's gonna be just like a bat on this fountain pen. You just can get the vibe of the entire fountain pen community and this is exactly what you will find once you get it. It's one of the most priciest pilot fountain pen that you can get and this is going to be something which you need to consider and uh, you have to understand that this is a fountain pen that you may just acquire for not a week uh, a month this is one of the fountain pens that you can for sure acquire and have for the entire rest of your life this is luxurious this is not screaming this is not attributed to a specific theme no it's just heart passion soul poured into a creation by pilot uh, we are dealing with natural materials like urushi lacquer sap of the lacquer tree we are dealing with uh, an infusion of japanese style aesthetic uh, craftsmanship and brilliance into this writing instrument you may expect that it will come with a pricing and that pricing is 1145 euros i'm gonna be letting you to be the judge if that uh, pricing is justifiable for you but i can tell you that not only this fountain pen looks good feels good and it is worth the pricing the actual nib and the way it's writing it's going to be just the bonus that you may expect or you don't expect but you're gonna get regardless and uh, regardless if you have the black one or the red one this is only taste what you get is a fine writing instrument which is going to deliver one of the most pleasant writing experiences that i personally experienced this is comparable to a palladium dream touch nib it is not like other japanese nibs it's not going to come with that pencil like feedback it's super super smooth it's wet and it's very, very delightful. I don't recommend you posting this fountain pen because this is Urushi and I don't recommend you posting any Urushi fountain pen. This one specifically because it will become so much heavy, back heavy to be more specific and it's not just going to work. For its size and proportions, this is a light fountain pen. This is something that you can use for many, many extended hours of writing or for just quickly taking notes. Where I think the Pilot Custom Urushi lacks is in the filling system area. The pump converter is something which I believe it's not super, super great, but it works. And actually, when you ink the fountain pen and you go like this, pump a few times to see ink coming, and if you just simply have some ink residue of a different color, it will uh, squeeze that ink into bottle that you may want to ink your Pilot Custom Urushi from. But this is just me thinking that when I use this fountain pen, just like my others, I will choose to have the ink uh, switched maybe multiple times a day. So it's going to be a hassle. What I do like about it is the fact that you can remove the cartridge and have a bulb syringe and you can flush uh, some water right here and you can clean this part right here and the converter you can take separately and clean this as well if you use this fountain pen and you don't change the ink as much as I do it's gonna be wonderful and in regards of details I think this is it thank you very very much for spending this time with me on the Panvecha YouTube channel reviewing the Pilot Custom Urushi let me know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts what do you think about it if you own this fountain pen share your your feedback with everyone if i've convinced you to have a pilot custom urushi just scroll and you will find the link towards our website and you can have this fountain pen from penventure if you find my videos useful don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm and everything else to reach out to many more very passionate individuals of our beautiful fountain pen community i know that so many of you are not subscribed to the penventure youtube channel if i've convinced you with my videos to subscribe it's very very easy to do that right now just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have content like this one. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my previous videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, 
I'm your host, Henry from Pandanger. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, ride on, bye-bye.